why sequence genomes? Why we sequence the genomes? Actually, it is necessary to identify the gene numbers, their location on the genomes, and to study their function. If we want to identify the gene number, their locations, and to study their functions, it is necessary to sequence the genomes. Sequencing of the genomes also helps us to study the gene regulations, that how genes are regulated, how they produce the polypeptides, or what is the difference between polypeptide producing genes and RNA producing genes. Sequencing of the genome is also necessary to identify the entire sequence of the genomes. Sequencing of the genome also helps us to understand the genome organization as well as chromosomal structure and organization. Means by sequencing genomes, we can come to know that how many genes are present on the genome and what is the percentage of DNA, what is the percentage of DNA which is coding in nature and what is the percentage of DNA which is non-coding in nature. So by sequencing genomes, we can identify, we can come to know the non-coding DNA types because there are different types of the non-coding DNA in eukaryotes. We can also come to know amount, distribution, and the function of those non-coding DNA on the genomes. Coordination of gene expression, protein synthesis, and post-translational events can also be properly studied once we have sequenced the genomes. Interaction of protein in complex molecular machines predicted versus experimentally determined gene functions, evolutionary conservation can also be studied by sequencing the genomes. Protein structure, their function, knowledge about the proteomes and protein contents in cells of different organisms, correlation of single nucleotide polymorphism with health and disease are also can be best understood by sequencing the genomes. Disease susceptibility prediction based on the genome sequence variation gene involved in complex traits and the basics of multi-gene diseases also can be understood by sequencing the genomes. Complex system biology, complex system biology, developmental genetics to, to provide platform for microchips and DNA microarrays, gene expression and RNA studies, complex system of the biology, developmental genetics, and genomics. These are all different techniques that can be understood. All, all the information about these things can be get once we have sequenced the genomes. Drug uh, target discovery, rational drug design, molecular docking, gene therapy, stem cell therapy can also be performed once we have sequenced the genomes. To understand the metabolism of the cells and tissue within different organisms, to understand the mechanism of the diseases, diseases can be inherited diseases, infectious diseases, pathogenic bacteria and viruses, we also need to understand the best mechanism of all these types of the diseases once we have sequenced the genomes of that particular species or that particular organism we can better understand 
about the inherited diseases, infectious diseases, and the pathogenic bacteria. So if we conclude why we need to sequence the genomes, better understanding of the genome would be possible by sequencing the genomes that once we have sequenced the genome, then we can better understand the structure of the genome, function of the genome, and other related information, particularly for the proteomics, metabolomics, can also be best understood if we sequence the genomes. So we can conclude that sequencing the genome is for the better understanding of the genomes.